can't get through it without you. Oh! Oh, God, that was awesome. Woo! Day two. Ooh, coffee was good. All right, so we're on unit two. Day two. We're going with the notes today, kids. Ooh, how about that penmanship? Some amazing penmanship. All right, so day two notes. What are we doing here? Let me just slide over. Oh, a little review from yesterday. Hope this is a re review. We might, we're, let's see. Okay, my name is Mr. Krause. You can call me Mr. Key. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel and you're here hanging out with me on a regular basis, why not subscribe? Help me out. Hook a, hook a man up. Hook a math teacher up. You can do that. All right, let's do this. All right, so what do we got here? Got to figure out what these are. So what I'm going to do, go through and figure out which ones all the cube roots are. Excuse me. Uh, I'm guessing there's some functions down here. We got the labels down here. But I'm going to figure out which ones are all the cube roots. So when it goes in two directions, this is definitely a cube root. This is going in two directions, so it's definitely a cube root. This is a square root. This is a cube root. One direction square root. One direction square root. And one direction square root. Okay, so we got rid of, we got to know which ones are those cube roots and which ones are square roots. Now you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through and figure out which ones require a negative. Now remember, a normal square root goes like this. Function goes like this. Okay? If it goes in this direction, then that means there was a negative out front. A normal cube root goes like this. But if it's got a negative out front, it's going to go the opposite direction. So I'm going to figure out which ones require a negative. So this first one looks normal. This one's backwards, so we got a negative out front. This one over here, number three, is going down, so that's got to have a negative out front. This one's normal. This one's going down, so it's going to have a negative out front. This one's also going down, so it's going to have a negative out front. And this one down here is going up, so it's got to have a positive. All right, so we're good with that. Then the next thing I'm going to do is figure out my rates of change. So I'm going to kind of explode this up a little bit. That's not where I want to be. Explode this up a little bit. So I'm going to try to figure out my rates of change. Well, first of all, no, actually what I want to do is figure out how much I move to the left or right and up or down. So it looks like we're just going down 5. So that means there's an X on the inside and a minus 5 on the outside. Now I'm going to look for my rate of change. Over 1, up 1. So no number out front. So this is just going to be something like this, Y or M or whatever. Whatever this turns out to be, we'll put that in here, something of X. All right, so let's go to the next one. So this one has a negative out front, but looks like we went to the left 2. We've got to get down to here. So left 2 is X plus 2, but we also went down 3, so I need a minus 3. Now I want to look for my rate of change over 1, down 1. So we don't need a number out front, so that's that one. All right, so here we go. What do we got here? Uh, I'm going to move this negative because I'm going to have to. We got an X. Now we just moved up 2. So that means we're going to put a plus 2 here, but nothing goes on the inside. It's going down, like we said, so it needs a negative, but... It goes over 1 and down to here for the first point. That's down 4. All right, that's the equation of that one. It's going to go right below here. So this is an odd one. It doesn't move at all, so we just have an X, nothing on the inside, nothing on the outside. But it looks like we went over 1 and maybe down, I don't know, is that down 3 quarters or 2 thirds? I'm going to go with 2 thirds. It Kind of looks like two-thirds. It could be three-quarters. It might be three-fourths. What I'm looking for is a number less than one. Because if it got to one, it would be there. So that's got to be some kind of fraction. We'll figure out what they got there. Let's see. We moved to the right three. So that's X minus three. We also moved up two. So we're going to put a plus two there. Now it's going down. So I have the negative. We went over one and down two. So I need a negative two. And that's that one. And, okay, this is a little weird. You see this point right here? That's a point, and that's a point. So somewhere in the middle would be the, 
vertex of this thing. That's hard to find sometimes. Sometimes that's really tricky to find. All right, so let's see. We just moved to the left four, so that's x plus four, but we also moved down one. Now, we moved over one and up three, so I need a three out front. And that's that one, we got one left. I wish moving left and right was easier on this one. All right, so it looks like we're going up. We move to the right three, so that's x minus three on the inside. We also move down one, so that's minus one on the outside. And now let's take a look. We went over one and up. I'm going to guess probably exactly a half on this one, a half. All right, so those are our equations. Let's see how you did. F of x, negative 2, x minus, so f is negative 2, so this is f, and then 3 cube root of x plus 4, that's this one, that's g, I think, was that g? That's g. h is negative 4, h, cube root of x minus 5, that's what, j? J is the first one. Only got two left. L is plus two minus three. Oops, maybe I have three left. F. No, what was that color? Well, that was uh, L. Sorry, we had three left. Got me nervous there a minute. Thought I had made a mistake. And then the one half, that's this last one. This is K. And then this last one, which is what, M, is the four-fifths? Oh, four-fifths. Okay, so this is M. Apparently, that's a four-fifths. We just knew it had to be less than one. All right, let's get going on this lesson. So of everything that you do tonight, this is going to be the tricky part of the lesson. All right, this is going to be the real tricky. Let me uh, pause out for a second. All right, let's take a look, see what we got here. All right, so this is the definition of, let me do it high, let me highlight it. This is the definition of n of x. And then what they're saying is m of x is equal to n of negative x, and then we add 3. So the goal of getting these ones correct is to figure out what this is first. So that's what we're going to do, n of negative x equals 2, all we're going to do is use this function now, cube roots of negative x. Well, that's it. So this little yellow, this thing in yellow, that's right here, is that. So now we're going to replace that with what we just determined is this, and we're going to say, okay, m of x is equal to this thing, 2, cube roots of negative x, and then what do we do? Add 3 at the end. So now, this, now the question says is they want you to tell you what transformations take it from this to this. In other words, we want to compare them. So this one's a little bit tricky because, I, I, you know, have we talked about it maybe a little bit when we have a negative on the inside? So notice that the 2 is not, there's no negative on the outside, so no change there, no reflection. The 2 is still a dilation, so we still stay that. We got this little thing that happened here, went from x to negative x, so that is a reflection in the y-axis. This is a weird one. And then we've got a plus 3, so that's a translation up all right, let's do another one. I know, these are going to get funky. And they get harder, too. So, P of X is described like this. That's P of X's definition. We want Q of X, which is one-half P of X minus 2. So, again, we're going to try to figure out what this piece is right here. So, P of... So, if I said, what's P of 3, you'd say, oh, okay, that's the cube root of 3 minus 4. You just plug that in. So whatever's in here goes in here. 
Well, that's not what I'm asking for. I want to know what is P of X minus 2. So instead of X, we're going to sub in X minus 2 and then minus 4. So this thing here is really going to be replacing that. We just got to be very careful in this one. So Q of X is equal to one half times all of this. And because that's a binomial, it has to go in parentheses. The cube root of X minus two minus four. All right, now we got to distribute the net, this one half. So one half times this. And then one half times the negative four is negative two. All right, so now the question is, how does this compare to this? And this is where it's going to get a little weird for you, okay? So, let's take a look. Let me get rid of all the other, let me get rid of everything else, the work. You can, you can go back and replace it, look at it if you want. But this is what we have. put that two back all right so we went from a one here to a one half so that's a dilation factor one half in other words it got, it got less steep it was an x now it's an x minus two so that's a translation right two. Now here comes the weird one. Here comes the strange one. It was at minus four, but now it's at minus two. So it was down four, now it's down two. So that's really a translation up two. So it went from negative four to negative two. That actually is going up two, not down two. I know, I know. Your homework this is going to be the hard part of your homework tonight. Okay, we got one more to do here. So we need to figure out what this is first. So r of x plus three is equal to negative two times x plus 3 minus 3. Remember, we're going to replace this with this, and then plus 2. So this turns out to just be negative 2 square roots of x plus 2. So this thing here is this. Okay, so now we got to figure out, now we got to figure out what this whole thing is right here. This whole t of x. So one half times this yellow box, yellow thing we just figured out, and then a minus two here on the outside because we got this little additional minus two here. All right, so we got to distribute this negative one half. So this becomes positive 1, so I don't need to put it, square roots of x. I mean, if you want to put a 1 there, you can put a square in there. And then negative a half times negative or positive 2 is negative 1 and then minus 3. So if I clean this whole thing up, hopefully that's not too much behind my head. Let me move up a little bit. I get the square root of x minus, oh, this shouldn't have said minus 3. Sorry about that. So this is negative 1 half times positive 2, which is negative 1, minus 2. I was actually skipping ahead. Here's the minus 3. So this is what we end up when we clean that thing up. So now what we want to do, let me get rid of everything else so, so it's no more distraction for you. We want to compare 
this with this. So the negative here, no negative here. So that's a reflection in the x-axis. This one had a dilation of 2, but now it's 1. So if you go from 2 to 1, that means it was steeper and now it's less steep. So that's actually a dilation. Oh, here comes the hard part. Factor 1 half. In other words, we cut that in half to get from here to here. We cut it in half. That's weird. We were right three and now we're no longer right three so if we were to the right three and now we're no longer to the right three which way do we move we were right and now we're back here so we actually moved left three so translation left three we were plus two and now we're minus three so we were up to now we're minus 3. So that's also a translation down 5. Do Hopefully you did your best with that. When we go over on the homework, you'll see I spent a little more time on it going over the homework. Make sure you check those, okay? Those are going to be rough. All right, so below on the axis below, graph this. So let's do that. 0. And let's go. If I plug in a 0, oops, what did I put a 0 up there? How about x? So if I plug in a 0, 3 times 0 is 0, square root of 0 is 3, is 0. So we got a 0, 0. Now, let's see. My next perfect square is 1. So I'm going to put in one-third. Why am I putting in one-third? Because what's three times one-third? Isn't that just one? So if I plug in a one here, if I plug in a one-third here, I'm going to get the, the square root of one out, which is just one. So one-third, one. Now my next perfect square is four. So if I do three times four-thirds, don't the threes cancel? I end up with the square root of four. So four thirds would be my next one. Yeah, that's another weird one. Square root of four is two. So four thirds is a little bit more than it's like, and then that's two. Now, the next perfect square is nine, so I'm gonna say x equals three. Okay, that one's easy, because three times three is nine, the square root of, so if I plug in a three here, I get nine, square root of nine is three, so three, three. My next perfect square is, so, so, so far I've really plugged in one-third, four-thirds, nine-thirds, but nine-thirds is just three, right? So one-third, 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 four-thirds, nine-thirds, then the next one would be sixteen-thirds. Why? Because the threes cancel, and I end up with the square root of sixteen, which is four. Now, sixteen-thirds is like five and a little bit, so five and a little bit, four. So now I'm going to do, you guys should start to get the pattern here, 25 thirds. Because the threes cancel and I end up with the square root of 25, which is 5. So that's going to be, let's see, 25 over 3 is a little more than 8, 5. Next one's going to be 36 thirds, which is really just 12. But let's do 36 thirds because then we end up with the square root of 36, which is 6. And 12, 6. That was just a little number theory. A little work with, uh, a little work with fractions there, just for fun. So now let's get simple. Uh, this is g of x is equal to f of x minus 2. How is the graph of f of x comp translated to form g of x? Uh, let's do a translation down to, why did I put these on here? Translation down to. Oh, I see, because it's on, because we're doing it a little bit different. So h of x is equal to f of x minus 4. So notice that's on the inside of the parentheses. So this is a translation 
right for. So whenever I ask you about this, whenever we put the uh, whenever we put the uh, thing that we're doing here inside the parentheses, that's going to see the same thing. Translation left or right, but backwards. And when it's on the outside, it's the same thing, up or down, or up or down, but normal. All right. So this one's got a whole lot of stuff going on on it. So big. Given the graph of the square root function is this. If k is increased by four units, how would the new graph function? So this is going to be increased so by four. So we're going to add four. So that's on the outside, right? Outside. So it's on the outside, so that's going to be a translation up four. So let's see what we got here. This is f of x equals, little piecewise function. This line here is the line y equals negative 2. This absolute, or this radical, let's see, let's see what we got here. Let me get a different color here. It's got a point here, so where is that? That's left 2, down 2, so I know that's going to be a square root, left 2, down to dilation, let's see, up one, over one, up, nope, that's it for that. And then this is a line, negative x plus 2. Now, when do we use this first piece? This first piece is used from negative 4, less than or equal to x, less than or equal to negative 2. Since I used the equal to on this one, I'm not going to use it on this one. Negative 2, less than or equal, oops, I did it. Less than x, less than or equal to 2. And then this one is just going to put x, oops, uh, 2 less than x, less than or equal to 4. All right, power regression. I know we didn't do a lot with regression before. Well, we did regression in that other chapter. Uh, but now we're going to do pre power regression. So for anything, like, notice the base is going to be the thing that changes. So when we do this work, we're going to have a new A value and a new B value. Those are the things we're going to get out of our power regression. And if we ask you to do power regression, we'll let you know, hey, you got to do power regression. So let's do a scatter plot of this. Uh, what is this? The length of the Indo-Pacific shore fish. Psh, whatever. All right, let's go here. Zero, zero. What do we got to get to? 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So every one is 1. I'll just do this. 2, 4. I love my 4. 6, 8, 10, and since we're really not starting until about 50, I'm just going to go a little break here. We'll make this 40. What do we got to get up to? 109, 112, something like that. So this is 40. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Let's do that. <coughs> Let's do every two is 10. So it's 50, 60, 70, 80. 90, 100, 110. All right, let me plot these points then. 2, almost 50. 3, almost 60. 4, almost 70. 5, almost 80. Man, it looks linear to me. 6, oh, here we go, 6 is 82, 7 is 95, which is going to be right here, wow, that's weird, 6 is 105, 7 is 113, that's really weird, 8 is 112, Oh, what did I do? Oh, wait. No, 11 is 112. What happened? 
All right, I messed up somewhere. That's embarrassing. So six was 82. Seven was 88. Eight is 95. Nine is 105. Man, I messed up a big time on that one. 105. Oh, this would be 95. And then 10 is 113. 11 is 112. And 13 is 109. Okay, how can that be 110? This is 113. I, I'm just really a little mesmerized by these points. 110, 120. I don't know, this would be 113 right here. That was off a little bit. 113, 112, and then 109. Wow, that really looks linear. But for some reason, well, you got to understand, though, that eventually what's going to happen with these fish, right? They're just fish. Eventually, you can't just keep growing. Eventually, they're going to go like this, right? So eventually, they're all just kind of like, we're not going to get like, you know, you just can't, a fish just can't keep growing forever and ever. So they're going to eventually kind of go off. And we're going to do a power regression on these. So we definitely need our calculator for this. Uh, we're going to go into spreadsheet mode. X, Y, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then we got 47.6, 58.7, 58.8, 58.9, 58.10, 58.11, 58.12, 58.13, 58.14, 58.15, 58.16, 58.17, 58.18, 58.19, 58.20, 58.21, 58.22, 58.23, 58.24, 58.25, 58.26, 58.27, 58.28, 59.5, 59.6, 59.7, 59.8, 59.9, 59.10, 59.11, 59.12, 59.13, 59.14, 59.15, 59.16, 59.17, 59.18, 59.19, 59.20, 59.21, 59.22, 59.23, 59.24, 59.25, 59.26, 59.27, 59.28, 59.29, 59.30, 59.31, 59.32, 59.33, 59.34, 59.35, 59.36, 59.37, 59.38, 59.39, 59.40, 59.41, 59.42, 59.43, 59.44, 59.45, 59.46, 59.47, 59.48, 59.49, 59.50, 59.51, 59.52, 59.53, 59.54, 59.55, 59.56, 59.57, 59.58, 59.59, 59.60, 59.61, 59.62, 59.63, 59.64, 59.65, 59.66, 59.67, 59.68, 59.69, 59.70, 59.71, 59.72, 59.73, 59.74, 59.75, 59.76, 59.77, 59.78, 59.79, 59.80, 59.81, 59.82, 59.83, 59.84, 59.85, 59.86, 59.87, 59.88, 59.90, 59.91, 59.92, 59.93, 59.94, 59.95, 59.96, 59.97, 59.98, 59.99, 59.10, 59.11, 59.12, 59.13, 59.14, 59.15, 59.16, 59.17, 59.18, 59.19, 59.20, 59.21, 59.22, 59.23, 59.24, 59.25, 59.26, 59.27, 59.28, 59.29, 59.30, 59.31, 59.32, 59.33, 59.34, 59.35, 59.36, 59.37, 59.38, 59.39, 59.40, 59.41, 59.42, 59.43, 59.44, 59.45, 59.46, 59.47, 59.48, 59.49, 59.50, 59.51, 59.52, 59.53, 59.54, 59.55, 59.56, 59.57, 59.58, 59.59, 59.60, 59.61, 59.62, 59.63, 59.64, 59.65, 59.66, 59.67, 59.68, 59.69, 59.70, 59.71, 59.72, 59.73, 59.74, 59.75, 59.76, 59.77, 59.78, 59.79, 59.80, 59.81, 59.82, 59.83, 59.84, 59.85, 59.86, 59.87, 59.88, 59.90, 59.91, 59.92, 59.93, 59.94, 59.95, 59.96, 59.97, 59.98, 59.99, 59.100, 59.101, 59.102, 59.103, 59.104, 59.105, 59.106, 59.107, 59.108, 59.110, 59.111, 59.112, 59.113, 59.114, 59.115, 59.116, 59.117, 59.118, 59.129, 59.130, 59.131, 59.132, 59.133, 59.134, 59.135, 59.136, 59.137, 59.138, 59.140, 59.151, 59.152, 59.153, 59.154, 59.155, 59.156, 59.157, 59.158, 59.159, 59.160, 59.170, 59.171, 59.172, 59.173, 59.174, 59.175, 59.176, 59.177, 59.178, 59.179, 59.180, 59.191, 59.192, 59.193, 59.194, 59.205, 59.206, 59.207, 59.208, 59.209, 59.210, 59.211, 59.212, 59.213, 59.214, 59.215, 59.216, 59.217, 59.218, 59.219, 59.220, 59.221, 59.222, 59.223, 59.224, 59.225, 59.226, 59.227, 59.228, 59.29, 59.30, 59.31, 59.32, 59.33, 59.34, 59.35, 59.36, 59.37, 59.38, 59.39, 59.40, 59.41, 59.42, 59.43, 59.44, 59.45, 59.46, 59.47, 59.48, 59.49, 59.50, 59.51, 59.52, 59.53, 59.54, 59.55, 59.56, 59.57, 59.58, 59.59, 59.60, 59.61, 59.62, 59.63, 59.64, 59.65, 59.66, 59.67, 59.68, 59.69, 59.70, 59.71, 59.72, 59.73, 59.74, 59.75, 59.76, 59.77, 59.78, 59.79, 59.80, 59.81, 59.82, 59.83, 59.84, 59.85, 59.86, 59.87, 59.88, 59.90, 59.91, 59.92, 59.93, 59.94, 59.95, 59.96, 59.97, 59.98, 59.99, 59.100, 59.101, 59.102, 59.103, 59.104, 59.105, 59.106, 59.107, 59.108, 59.110, 59.111, 59.112, 59.113, 59.114, 59.115, 59.116, 59.117, 59.118, 59.119, 59.120, 59.121, 59.122, 59.123, 59.124, 59.125, 59.126, 59.127, 59.128, 59.129, 59.130, 59.131, 59.132, 59.133, 59.134, 59.135, 59.136, 59.137, 59.138, 59.140, 59.151, 59.152, 59.153, 59.154, 59.155, 59.156, 59.157, 59.158, 59.159, 59.160, 59.170, 59.171, 59.172, 59.173, 59.174, 59.175, 59.176, 59.177, 59.178, 59.179, 59.180, 59.191, 59.192, 59.193, 59.194, 59.205, 59.206, 59.207, 59.208, 59.209, 59.210, 59.211, 59.212, 59.213, 59.214, 59.215, 59.216, 59.217, 59.218, 59.219, 59.220, 59.221, 59.222, 59.223, 59.224, 59.225, 59.226, 59.227, 59.228, 59.29, 59.30, 59.31, 59.32, 59.33, 59.34, 59.35, 59.36, 59.37, 59.38, 59.39, 59.40, 59.41, 59.42, 59.43, 59.44, 59.45, 59.46, 59.47, 59.48, 59.49, 59.50, 59.51, 59.52, 59.53, 59.54, 59.55, 59.56, 59.57, 59.58, 59.59, 59.60, 59.61, 59.62, 59.63, 59.64, 59.65, 59.66, 59.67, 59.68, 59.69, 59.70, 59.71, 59.72, 59.73, 59.74, 59.75, 59.76, 59.77, 59.78, 59.79, 59.80, 59.81, 59.82, 59.83, 59.84, 59.85, 59.86, 59.87, 59.88, 59.90, 59.91, 59.92, 59.93, 59.94, 59.95, 59.96, 59.97, 59.98, 59.99, 59.100, 59.101, 59.102, 59.103, 59.104, 59.105, 59.106, 59.107, 59.108, 59.110, 59.111, 59.112, 59.113, 59.114, 59.115, 59.116, 59.117, 59.118, 59.119, 59.120, 59.121, 59.122, 59.123, 59.124, 59.125, 59.126, 59.127, 59.128, 59.129, 59.130, 59.131, 59.132, 59.133, 59.134, 59.135, 59.136, 59.137, 59.138, 59.140, 59.151, 59.152, 59.153, 59.154, 59.155, 59.156, 59.157, 59.158, 59.159, 59.160, 59.170, 59.171, 59.172, 59.173, 59.174, 59.175, 59.176, 59.177, 59.178, 59.179, 59.180, 59.191, 59.192, 59.193, 59.194, 59.205, 59.206, 59.207, 59.208, 59.209, 59.210, 59.211, 59.212, 59.213, 59.214, 59.215, 59.216, 59.217, 59.218, 59.219, 59.220, 59.221, 59.222, 59.223, 59.224, 59.225, 59.226, 59.227, 59.228, 59.230, 59.231, 59.232, 59.233, 59.234, 59.235, 59.236, 59.237, 59.238, 59.239, 59.240, 59.241, 59.242, 59.243, 59.244, 59.245, 59.246, 59.247, 59.248, 59.249, 59.250, 59.251, 59.252, 59.253, 59.254, 59.255, 59.256, 59.257, 59.258, 59.259, 59.260, 59.271, 59.272, 59.273, 59.274, 59.275, 59.276, 59.277, 59.278, 59.289, 59.290, 59.291, 59.292, 59.293, 59.294, 59.295, 59.296, 59.297, 59.298, 59.299, 59.300, 59.301, 59.302, 59.303, 59.304, 59.305, 59.306, 59.307, 59.308, 59.309, 59.310, 59.311, 59.312, 59.313, 59.314, 59.315, 59.316, 59.317, 59.318, 59.319, 59.320, 59.321, 59.322, 59.323, 59.324, 59.325, 59.326, 59.327, 59.328, 59.329, 59.330, 59.331, 59.332, 59.333, 59.334, 59.335, 59.336, 59.337, 59.438, 59.439, 59.440, 59.451, 59.452, 59.453, 59.454, 59.455, 59.456, 59.457, 59.458, 59.459, 59.450, 59.451, 59.452, 59.453, 59.454, 59.455, 59.456, 59.457, 59.458, 59.459, 59.450, 59.451, 59.452, 59.453, 59.454, 59.455, 59.456, 59.457, 59.458, 59.459, 59.450, 59.451, 59.452, 59.453, 59.454, 59.455, 59.456, 59.457, 59.458, 59.459, 59.450, 59.451, 59.452, 59.453, 59.454, 59.455, 59.456, 59.457, 59.458, 59.459, 59.450, 59.451, 59.452, 59.453, 59.454, 59.455, 59.456, 59.457, 59.458, 59.459, 59.450, 59.451, 59.452, 59.453, 59.455, 59.456, 59.457, 59.458, 59.459, 59.450, 59.451, 59.452, 59.453, 59.455, 59.456, 59.457, 59.458, 59.459, 59.450, 59.451, 59.452, 59.453, 59.455, 59.456, 59.457, 59.458, 59.459, 59.450, 59.451, 59.452, 59.453, 59.455, 59.456, 59.457, 59.458, 59.459, 59.450, 59.451, 59.452, 59.453, 59.455, 59.456, 59.457, 59.458, 59.459, 59.450, 59.451, 59.452, 59.453, 59.455, 59.456, 59.457, 59.458, 59.459, 59.450, 59.451, 59.452, 59.453, 59.455, 59.456, 59.457, 59.458, 59.459, 59.450, 59.451, 59.452, 59.453, 59.455, 59.456, 59.459, 59.450, 59.459, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59.450, 59
<laughs> I hope that's it. Oh my gosh, we got another one. Oh, we got two more to do. Three more to do. All right, kiddos, in order to speed things up, we're going to do this one. I've already put some of this information in my computer, but oh, I highlighted something. So what they're asking us to do is to compare low socioeconomic status. Usually that means uh, poor people and then high socioeconomic status. It, clearly, this should have been HES, not SES. Oh, socioeconomic status. Never mind. So what is our high socioeconomic status and our low? So what we're going to do is we're going to compare age in months to how much brain they got, all right? So this first one is gonna be high, the second one is low. What do we wanna do first? We wanna do low. So I wanna compare these two first. So since I've already stored this stuff into my calculator, I'm gonna come over to my calculator and I'll go recent, low would be 2.2. So those are the low numbers. So that's the one with the 512, right? Low socioeconomic status, so we'll go menu, Statistics, stat calculations, power regression, and we called it X and we called it Y. And we'll just click OK. And then there's our equation. Don't forget it's Y equals uh, AX to the B. Now, the one thing I want to change is I don't want this to the 100,000. I just want it to the thousandth place. Now, this is thousand, not thousandths. Thousand, this is the thousandths place. Four. Over, no decimals, no decimals. And then the B, I went to the hundreds place. So we're going to call this one, since this is low, we're going to do L of X, low. And let's see, what's our A value? 4, 3, 2, 5. The 5 rounds the 3 to a 3. So 4, 3, 3. X to the, and then we're going to round this to the hundreds place. So that's 0 0.10. Okay, so that's low. Now we're going to do high socioeconomics there. H of X, and we're going to do the same thing. Let me just get rid of this. And that's these numbers, five, 500,000. That's the upper numbers. That's high socioeconomic status. And we'll do the same thing, menu, stacks, stack calculations, power regression. We called it X. We called it Y. And then there's the equation again. This time we're going to go 372. X to the, and then this is 0.18. So you notice the low socioeconomic status may have had a higher starting point than this, but this one's growing a little bit faster. We'll see how that works. So we want to predict five years old. Now you got to be careful. Five years is 60 months. Remember, our units here are months. So we want to do L of 60 and H of 60. We can't put five in because five represents five months. We want months, we want five years. So we're going to do 433.60 to the 0 0.10 and 372.60 to the 0.18. Now remember, this is just data off a website that has measured this. You know, you can't really argue with data that's being collected unless, of course, it was collected poorly. And later this year, we'll talk about that. Because uh, that's a huge issue in the world of uh, science is collecting data incorrectly. You know, most scientists do an amazing job with it. Some don't. And some like to peddle face, fake stuff because they did a poor job with their data. All right, so we're going to put in point one, And we get 652. So 652. Now, remember, this represents 652,000, right? We're just going to plug 3,000. And we'll do this one, 372, parentheses, 60, parentheses, raised to the 0.18. And that's 770,000. What does the data indicate about people in low socioeconomic status and high so uh, It looks like in high socioeconomic status, they grow at a faster rate. Uh, so... That's really all you want to say on there is that the high socioeconomic status, and that has a lot to do with, you know, the fact that you can afford tutors and the fact that you have the time sometimes to read to your kids. Sometimes people that are in poor households have to take two and three and four jobs on so they're not at home reading with their kids. Some rich people like to put their kids into daycares and, and let them 
uh, teach them so they're, they're, they're learning at a faster rate. And unfortunately, that means that your brain's going to grow a little bit faster or quicker and you work on all those synapses. But I'll let your science teacher deal with that one. I'm not going to deal with that one. Uh, all right. I've also done this one. Uh, let's see. Do the cross-sectional study of 2,310 2, healthy Icelandic adults were divided equally into three groups over a two-year period. They were administered a questionnaire which assessed how much vitamin D and calcium they took. We got this. I don't know. This could be a BS study. I have no idea. I'm a partner in crime. Put this one together. So let's go with months. Not sure how we do two years and only get to 10 months if it's a two-year study. That's a little weird. Oh, it's not. Every two months they did it. Oh, okay. Every two months. I misread it. So zero, zero. We got to get up to ten. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lucky us. And let's see. We got to get up to what looks like fifty-five. So let's go ten, twenty, thirty. No, let's not do that. Let's do a little break here. And let's call this 40. And then 1, 2, 3, 45. 1, 2, 3, 50. 1, 2, 3, 55. It's good enough. All right. So I don't know why I picked twos or threes. That's kind of silly. Well, whatever. So at one month, they were at 47. So that's 45. Yeah. That's a terrible 45. 47 is going to be somewhere in the middle. No, wait, that's, yeah, that's about right. 47 is going to be somewhere in the middle. A little slower, a little lower. 2 is 51. There's 2. We'll go to 51. Should be somewhere around here. 4 is 55. So this is 4. And we're right here at 55. And 6 is 53. It's a little less. And 7 is 50, or 10 is 50 down here. So it looks like it's going up. If I had to draw on the curve up best fit, it would kind of look like that maybe. Not quite. I don't know. But, again, it's a power regression. We're going to do power regression on this thing. Now, I've already got this stuff typed into my calculator as well. We're going to do y equals. We're going to round to the nearest thousandth place. So that's three decimals. So we'll go menu. Stats, stat calculations, having it all typed in is so nice. Call our value X, call our value Y, click OK, and there are the numbers. Thousands places, three decimals. So 49.062 X to the 0 .032. Uh, two year study, that's 24 months. So we're going to do. Um, Y equals 49.062, 24 months, 0 0.032. Just got to be careful with the units on these silly problems. They love, the New York State loves to mix up the units on you. Know, it's just to completely mess with you. 49.062, parenthesis, 24, parenthesis, raised to the, was it 0 0.032, I think? Yes, enter. 54.314. So at the end of two months, two years, you'll have 54. So I guess this 10 of 50 is a little bit of an anomaly, a little weird one. Maybe the data doesn't show that quite much, as much. But it is going to kind of level off, and that's what power regression does. It levels off. That's what you know square root regression does as well. All right. That's it. That's the end. That's all we wrote. See you guys. Catch you on the flip side. Don't forget to subscribe.